we had a discussion about what doctors can do, for example, when they have a patient who is homeless. The response of a doctor to a patient who is homeless is firstly to treat his illness. That's the number one responsibility. The doctor does not ask, is this person homeless because he was a criminal? Is he homeless because of something he did? The doctor says, number one, if he has an illness, I have an ethical, moral responsibility to treat him. The second question the doctor asks, or should ask, is can I do something about the fact of his homelessness? Europe is under great threat from the flood of migrants and refugees escaping from impossible situations. The number one responsibility of doctors is to treat people and not ask, is this person worthy or not worthy? It's to treat them as they would with any other patient. But at the same time, they should ask, we should ask what we can do about the facts that made them refugees, that forced the migration. And both of those are, I would say, ethical responsibilities. At such a time when a country such as Turkey and other countries in the region uh, are having to deal with this huge burden of people escaping for their lives. Not everyone has re reacted in public life the way perhaps we would like people to react, that all individuals should be treated with dignity. Doctors, I think, should be in the lead at showing the ethical and moral way forward of treating everyone with dignity, regardless of their situation. I'm particularly pleased that the Turkish Medical Association took the lead in organizing this meeting. The World Medical Association is delighted to partner with the Turkish Medical Association and very grateful for your initiative to discuss this important and absolutely vital topic. And I cannot imagine a more appropriate place to be discussing it than right here in Istanbul. So thank you very much to our hosts and thank you to everyone who's come to participate in this important meeting.